How many of you use motivation as something difficult and intense that you have to work really hard at? What if I told you that pleasure is your prime motivator? You want to check it out? Join me. Hello, life artists. I am happy to be back with you this week for one of my favorite subjects, motivation. Now, as creators, feeling motivated is often the deciding factor in our success. It often determines if we follow through on things, if we continue despite challenges, and mostly if we enjoy the process. Now, in this video today, and the training that we're going to do, we're going to look really, what is this pleasure as a physical flow? And how do we use our bodily states of being not only to generate motivation, but to maintain it? Now, we will train using one of the body's most natural motivating principles, and that's pleasure. How to create this in an instant, and practice these states for motivation that you can harness that whenever you need it. All right? So let's, let's start. What are the prime motivators as a body? Yeah, what, what makes our body go? What happens when we're experiencing and creating yeah, fear as opposed to pleasure? Now, Last week we looked at fear as a motivator, and this week we're really going to look at pleasure. So what happens when we're motivating with pleasure? Just take, a minute, just, just take a minute to remember the last time that you simply, I don't know, felt super pleasurable, full of joy and excitement, right? I mean, what happens in our body is that there's a, there's a chain reaction. Now this chain reaction happens in response to fear and pain, but desire and pleasure also produce a chain reaction. Now, what happens is endorphins and pleasure chemicals flood your system. Dopamine, DMT, serotonin, now all those pleasure and bliss chemicals, you know, flood your system. These produce a physical, emotional response. Yet unlike fear reactions or freezing and procrastination, pleasure creates energy, it creates movement, it creates relaxation and natural communication. It creates high states of focus and attention. When we're experiencing pleasure, we are naturally opening yeah, to our surroundings and experiencing the qualities that we experience as a full being. And dopamine is one of these chemicals. And specifically, dopamine is considered like a, like a reward for the body. The body sends these happy drugs as a reward for meeting a challenge. Yeah? So we feel and experience the reward for our desires, as if they were already achieved. Now this physical state allows taking action to be less stressful or fear and pain based, risk levels go down, and this prompts us to take action much easier. But let's just look at it even more simply. What happens in your being? What happens in your experience, in your body, in your feelings, your thoughts? I mean, when you're happy, when you're excited, when you're in love, for instance, when you're joyful. When we're easy and active, motivation is never the issue. Huh? We don't need to motivate ourselves to um, have fun. I mean, <laughs> when we're having fun, we're not thinking about motivation because we are experiencing pleasure and we're already doing that. Now this cycle of doing then sends, again, more happy drugs to our mind and more inspiration starts happening and we start to get this neurobiological feedback of pleasure and reward happening, and this is based on taking action. It's based on tuning in and enjoying. Now, we're either tuning in and pushing ourselves and struggling with motivation, yeah, that's also an action, or we're tuning in and taking action based on enjoyment. Either way, we get those endorphins going. And what we want to set up is we want to set up endorphins of pleasure, that biological loop of pleasure. And when you think about it, we're not struggling when we're full of energy or power or joy. And pleasure is not the thing that we're, we're working on, right? It's the times that we're fearful when we're slow and we're unsure. Yeah, these unmotivated times. These are the things that we're trying to change. Now, at Life Artists... The way I look at changing those states is I do a reverse hack, knowing that when we focus our actions on achieving the states that we wish for, yeah, states in which we also, also have in our lives that we know and experience regularly, you know and experience pleasure regularly. 
If you know how to use those and work backwards, we start with the experience that we want, and then we mirror this physically. We shape and experience it in our physical state. And in doing so, we create the flood of pleasure we wish to have. Now, the wish that we know, this actually wish, we know that. And it allows us then to act with ease. And in doing so, we move already into the state that we know. We embody pleasure. Now, if we practice creating these states consciously, our experience becomes now what we're wishing to have. Not sometime. It's now. Now, this is what I teach in all of my workshops, yeah? To create the state that you want now, yeah? And it's much easier to face our fears when we're full of energy, pleasure, curiosity, I mean, well-being. If you practice these states of motivation, yeah, it leads you to success. Because when you embody that, you're taking action from that state now. Now, just look at it practically. When you're full of pleasure, won't it be easier to take action? Won't feeling now satisfied and enjoying lead you to thinking better thoughts about yourself, about your possibilities, about your life? And when you do that, the more you do that, this feedback loop of desire and pleasure becomes your motivation instead of fear and pain becoming your motivation. Think about that. Desire and pleasure, yeah, becomes the thing that gets you up in the morning. That's the state that we want to go for. So in our training today, we're going to create and, ex and really explore this reverse hack. We're going to start by creating the states that you wish, yeah, and then we're going to work backwards. Hi, welcome to this week's training where we are talking about motivation and how absolutely motivating it is to have pleasure in the body, yeah? What we're looking at this week's training is really, we're gonna do a reverse hack. Most of us spend most, most of our time thinking about our worries and our fears and not the states that we want to embody. And so this week's training, we're gonna create the state that we want first in our body. It'll affect our emotions and it'll change our thoughts. And this is what we're doing here at Life Artists, this kind of reverse hack through changing our states. So let's get started. So what I want you to do is just close your eyes for a minute and feel and experience your breath moving and flowing in your body, okay? Let your mouth relax, open it, breathe, and feel this movement of the breath coming in and out of your chest, for instance. Ooh, and do take deep, full breaths. We're getting a bit more energy raising and really open your mouth. Oh, take a breath. Feel this movement from the belly going up, how it expands into your chest. Mm, relax your knees. Relax your low back when you breathe out. Feel how your body relaxes down. And now just start to move and stretch how your body needs. Whatever just feels good to you. Whatever you really uh, just need. Let your body do whatever feels good. If it needs to crouch down, do that. Mm. And continue to breathe. Get your feet and your legs involved. Oh, roll in your back. Stretch. Oh. Involve your face as well. Ooh. Just feel, again, everything that I'm training is really much less about sports and yeah, but really actually being in your body. And feeling, oh, what does that feel like? And oh, that feels so good. I need to do that. Mm. <sighs> Get your feet moving. Oh, open your mouth. Take a deep breath. Mm. And now go ahead and stand. 
and do your legs like you're running, your knees, and you're just going, getting your legs a little bit warmed up. Breathe into your mouth, into your chest, while you feel this movement, and now relax. Feel this little burst of energy that come up. And now with this extra energy, we're going to imagine a time and remember a time when we are fearful about our projects. And what I want you to do is I want you to think about a quality or a state that you really want. It could be, I want confidence, I want clarity, I want lightness, I want pleasure. And I want you to start to just feel that experience, but we're gonna do it by remembering a time when you were that. Your body knows how to do that. Remember the last time or a time that you were ecstatic, whatever quality that you're looking for, confident, really remember the time that you were doing that. And I want you to just start to feel and remember who was there, what was going on, what was the situation, how were you standing? Mm, And while you do that, I want you to start to let your body Gently move into that experience. Hmm. If it's lightness, how did your body start to feel when it was light? We know these experiences, guys. And allow your body to start now moving that experience. Investigate this through gentle movements. Learn and notice and give attention to your body while you're remembering this state of being, Mm, joyful or pleasurable, and allow your body to really explore how are you breathing, how are you standing, and allow your body to move into that. What was your face like? And now start to expand these movements. Ooh, let your body really feel that. (sighs) How do I move when I'm confident? How was I in that moment? Mm. (sighs) And remember in that place that you were, really remember the experience, remember the sensation. How were you walking? How were you moving? What were you doing? Think about how people were responding to you and let your body just have the experience that it already knows and expand it and make all that movement bigger, all that breath bigger. Mm, Stretch into that, move into that, breathe into that. Become this state of being even more, even more. Really raise it up. And now, while you're doing all of this, start to tune into the emotional quality. Really feel, how do I feel when I'm like this? Keep moving, keep moving. But how do I feel? What's going on in my feeling state, my emotions? And tune in to that emotion and let it move you. Let that emotion really move your experience now. I feel excited, I feel full, I feel pleasure, I feel clarity, I feel silence, I feel confidence, and let it move your body how it needs. Mm, Exactly. Ah, Now relax a little bit, and I want you to tune in with this experience. Breathe into your chest. Feel the emotional quality, allow it to expand. And now I want you to notice little, little, little places in your body that are a bit contracted, a bit tight within this expansion. And I want you to first just contract them a little bit. Feel into your shoulders, for instance, and contract that a little bit. With all of this pleasure or joy or confidence, feel what it does to your state, how it immediately boom and relax it and now move it again gently. 
Remembering the state of whatever quality that you're wishing and desiring and move that area gently. Hmm. Allow there to be sound if there's sound. Hmm. And now let's tune into a second area. Maybe it's your belly or your low back or your legs or your chest. And contract the area a little bit. Just notice. Oh yeah. When I'm not in this state, this area is holding. And feel it. Ah, oh, yeah, and feel what it does. And then drop it. Ooh, and change that state again. And gently, gently breathe and move that area. Ooh, get the area, really play with it. Get expansion into the area. Find little movements that would allow this to, to expand and move. Ah. And now just relax and breathe very, very deep and very full. And again, remember this state when you were this and breathe fully, 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 fully. And now notice how did you think when you were like this? Mm. What were you thinking? What were you involved in? Where was your attention? And start to think that now. Mm. Wow, I love people. It's super exciting. Mm. Ah, I want this. And allow your body to move while thinking this and while feeling this. Allow your body to have this experience. Feel your face, feel what it does, and think specifically these thoughts. Oh, I love it, I love it, I love it, exactly. Ah. And now relax, take a deep, full breath. Mm, and now just feel all of your state of being right now. Ah. Tune into your body, your emotions, your thoughts, and continue to feel this state. Ah, expand your breathing. Mm. And feel when you're in this state of being, feel how would you be in reality? Keep breathing, keep noticing this state. Don't reduce. And notice when you're like this, how easy it is for you to be confident how clear it would be for you to do your projects. This is a reverse hack. And pleasure or motivation is a huge motivator for your projects. It's definitely easy to create because we've had these moments again and again and again. All you need to do is remember them and give focus to that experience in your body first. Raise it up through your emotions, raise it up through your thoughts, your breathing, your movement, and have a nice next moment. So, stay tuned for the rest of this video where we're gonna be implementing, where we're gonna be having a collective we think, talking about this subject of motivation. And I look forward to having you there. So how do you feel now? Now, practice literally means to become practical about something. It means doing something physical. Now, what you just did is the practice of motivation. Feel free to use this physical training whenever you're trying to, whenever you're trying to motivate yourself from states of pe pleasure instead of push, yeah? And whenever you want to stop things that aren't serving you, use your body to shift your attention, okay? You can also use a, a frame training anytime during the day or anytime when your experience is not what you're wanting. Your body loves flow and it knows how to be that. We just need to practice that state. Now, when uh, one of my favorite, favorite, favorite things, we're gonna do uh, a we think. Yeah, there's also implementation questions. Make sure you stay physical when you do those. And we wanna talk about this together. Collectively share and rethink this subject. So today's questions, yeah, that we're gonna share with our tribe are, how do you motivate yourself on a daily basis? Yeah, tell us the experience that you have of motivation in your creative process. 
And secondly, how does the physical training that we did today and using desire and uh, pleasure experiences, how does that affect your relationship to motivation? All right. Now, if you're interested in my work, if you love what I'm doing, yeah, um, jump on over to the Life Artist Community page and join our newsletter. Get in on the conversation, get in on the creative community, share your truth and support each other in your creative growth. For me, creativity is all about doing something together. Yeah? It's all about co-creating. So co-create with each other, share this, comment, contact myself and others. And definitely sign up for the newsletter. In our newsletter, we'll send out all kinds of new trainings. And if you're serious about getting really powerful about your conscious creation, join us for the Conscious Creator workshops. They're live workshops where a bunch of creators get together and we train together. It's super fun. So sign up for the newsletter and check it out. We'll let you know when workshops are happening in your area. Now, thank you so, so much for joining me and do tune in next week. We're going to continue the subject of motivation, but this time with really practical skills on how and when. Okay. And remember, you are the creator, your experience and your life truly are in your hands.